Oh, let's talk about our Cleveland Indians. What a way to end an afternoon game with a walk off a three run home run in the bottom of the 10th as the tribe sweeps Seattle. As fans flock to progressive field today, we sent Dave Arnold there to see who might be playing hooky with a little fever, a little tribe fever, that is. Let's go, tribe. It's hard not to notice the walk up crowds at tribe games on a day like today. Winning ways just change the way some fans think. All of a sudden, uh, I got uh, sick. I had tribe fever. No problem. For boss Don Kilbane and his buddy Jimmy Gallagher, possibly seeing a winning streak sweep is well worth tribe love. I love the speed, uh, the power. They're exciting. They're generating runs. I love Terry Francona. Tribe fever has even spread to Michigan. It's a goofier strain up there, though. The Indians, the tribe, and the Tigers are like one and two, and so I'm calling them the Tigers. Get your stats ready. How many games in the last 21 have they won? 17. All right, right? 17 of the last 21. And don't forget your lucky Lammy. This is Lammy. Lucky Lammy. We're going to win today. <laughs> Time to warm up the peanut gallery, get a perfect seat in your favorite shirt, and remember to hydrate out there. Woo, it's a hot one. Are you guys here for the game or for the drinks? For the drinks. The drinks and the game. <laughs> the atmosphere is so hot, you can taste it. That's Addison Wojcicki, two years old on Saturday. Big Indians fan. Well, with all this excitement about the winning streak, it'd be nice to actually have some winning, right? Seven kind of hits will run you out. You better believe it. All them Indians, man. Live on five in Cleveland, I'm Dave Arnold. Hmm. That final score, 10 to 8. We